for this is for medical and non-medical. Are you offering video chat with patients? If you're offering telehealth, they're they have an iPad or they have a tablet in their in their apartment in their house. Allow it where the patient can actually contact you or someone of your staff members via video, where there's a person-to-person -person touch, where you can see eye to eye. It gives them the comfort that they're there. But imagine this, now that the patient has one of those, and yes, it's going to cost some extra money, but it makes you stand out. Imagine you have one of these at the patient's home where their family member can now talk directly to the patient and video chat one-on-one -on -one when they haven't seen each other. Everybody has smartphones nowadays. There's so many different ways to be able to what? Make yourself stand out and video chat with family, with friends, with your medical team is very vital. You can even offer this and tell your physicians, doctor, if you want to be able to talk to your patient, even, they're, even though that they're at home, you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them with a video chat. We can show you how to do it and how to set it up with your own computers. I put together a lay study. Okay, a lay study, what happens is it's a graph that's used in some hospitals to determine if a patient would have an increased chance of ending back in the hospital and get readmitted because of certain, um, certain information that they have, such as history, such as um, vital signs, such as you know, their current sign and symptoms, and their diagnosis. Well, we reached out to some hospitals and said, you know what, we know that you're using the lay study, but guess what, we also do that when we actually admit a patient. We also do a lay study to see how they handle at home. So, lay study pretty much the length of stay, acuity of the admissions, comorbidities, emergency department visits. What we do is we tell the, the hospitals, the potential referral sources, that we are doing our own studies. And when we actually do this quick assessment, it lets us know if a patient needs more help. And this is actually how we determine when we actually make sure we use a telehealth program for a patient. So you want to be able to show them that you're also doing additional things that other agencies are not doing. Other than your typical basic admission program, whether, whether you're doing your assessment for the patients, what else are you doing in addition that the average home health agencies are not doing? Look, you have to do anything. I showed you the lay study. I told you about the telehealth. I told you about the emergency response button. The whole main purpose of all these things is to be able to reduce the rehospitalization rates. There is a change in our area now. We must be able to learn how to reduce the readmission rates. If we can actually re reduce this and show hospitals that we reduce the rehospitalization rates, it makes us stand out. It makes them want to start working with us. That is the biggest goal that you should always have. Now, in addition to reducing the readmission rates, how do we do it? Once again, one of the biggest reasons for admissions is the medication noncompliance. So what we provide is we provide a daily medication reminder where the patient is called daily to remind them every 5 o'clock in the afternoon if they took their medication, if they haven't taken their medication, to actually take it right there and then. So if you have low senses, have somebody in the office do it. Have your nurses do it. But there are a program that we're working with a company now where for $5 a month, the patient's going to get called on a daily basis to let them know to take the medications. Noncompliance in medication is one of the top reasons for readmissions. You need to be able to show how you guys stand out from the rest, how you provide other services that the others cannot provide. What can you provide? Do you have other additional thinking or ideas that you can actually provide people? Medication management is so, so important. And it's a great way to be able to get more patients. So I want you guys to start thinking, what else can you actually offer? What else do you have that's going to be able to make you guys stand out that makes you different, that makes you guys and makes people want to start referring patients to you, that's going to make people want to start working with your organization? When, when we work with a lot of home health agencies, one of the things that we also like to do is this, is that when we actually consult for an agency, we want to be able to find ways to be able to save money. Saving money is making money, and I truly believe that. Saving money is making money. 
So we want to be able to find how can you save money for the company? How can you prevent them from wasting money? You want to be able to make sure the marketers that they're hiring are good marketers. That the marketers that they're that you're working with, okay, that the marketers that you're working with are not going to waste the money that you guys have. So what else can you do to be able to save money? There's so many different ways to save money, and we want you guys to be able to learn how to do this correctly, how to be able to create ways to save money because we don't want you to save money. We don't want you, not save money. We don't want you to lose money. Oh, no. We'll remove the saving money, making money. 